welcome to the last video in Core 1 with regards to integration. This is our sixth video and in this video I'm just going to show you how to find the value of C, that constant of integration we've been writing down all this time. So just to remind you what I'm talking about again, you know when um, we um, are told let's say dy by dx is equal to x cubed and we want to integrate to find y. So we integrate both sides with respect to x and with respect to x, we get y is equal to add 1 to the power x to the 4, divide by the 4, so it's 1 over 4, and we do this plus c, like that. And the plus c is called our constant of integration. Okay, now, if I gave you, these are called boundary conditions, if I, for example, told you something like when x is equal to 2, let's say, um, y is equal to 30, so i.e. on this curve it goes to the point 230, you could use that to find c, couldn't you? Because what you could do is substitute x is 2 in here, and you could substitute y is 30 in here, and you could use it to find c. So what we would do is we would substitute in, and we would say therefore 30 equals a quarter, 2 to the power of 4 plus c. So we would say 30 equals 2 to the power of 4 is 16, isn't it? And 16 times a quarter is 16 over 4, which is 4 plus c. So c therefore must be 30 take away 4, which is 26. And therefore, we could state that actually our curve is y is a quarter x to the power of 4, but we now know what this c is, this constant, is plus 26. We actually managed to find the c. And it's no longer a c, an unknown number, it's a found number that we have got because we know a pair of coordinates that the curve goes through. So I'm going to do two examples going through this with you in detail. Um, and that was the big picture. So here we go. Here, let's do two examples. Find the equation of the curve with the given derivative. Derivative just means it. you know dy by dx or the gradient function. That just means the gradient function with respect to x that passes through the given point 2, 10. So the first thing we're going to do, as we always do, is write dy by dx is equal to 3x squared add 2x. We're going to integrate both sides. We're told with respect to x, so dx, dx, put a nice bracket around it to show us we're doing everything. If I integrate dy over dx, I get y. If I integrate this, add 1 to the power x cubed and do 3 over the, this new power 3. And plus, that's a hidden one there, remember, add 1 to the power to be x squared, so we'd have 2 over 2 plus your constant of integration, c. Now let's tidy up before we try and find c. y is therefore 3 over 3 is 1, so that's x cubed. 2 over 2 is 1, so that's plus x squared, plus c. Now we're going to substitute x, y is 2, 10 to find c. So tell the examiner what you're doing. You're putting in x is 2 and y is 10 to find c. So let's do this carefully. Y is 10, so 10 equals 2 cubed plus 2 squared plus C. 10 equals 8 plus 4 plus C. 10 equals 12 plus C. So C must be 10, subtract 12, which is negative 2. And it says find the equation of the curve, so we must restate our curve, which was this, but with the C we found. So therefore, as our final answer, we must write y equals x cubed, add x squared, and the c we've now found its value, take away 2. And that is the thing we highlight for the examiner, and there's our final answer. So that's example 1 done. Let's do one more, um, and this is um, in f dash x form. The curve with equation y is f dash x passes through 4, 5. So you know it goes through 4, 5, you're going to use that later to find c. You have that the gradient function is equal to f dash x is x squared, subtract 2 over root x. Find the equation of this curve. 
let's start off by differentiating this. So f dashed x, sorry, by integrating, is equal to x squared take away 2 over square root x. To find f of x, they want the equation of c, that is f of x, they want us to find that. We integrate this side with respect to x, and we integrate this side with respect to x. Now, if we integrate the left, we obviously get f of x, the equation of the curve, that's what we want. Now, we can't integrate this yet unless it's in power form. It's got to be in simple power form, and it's, it's a fraction at the moment with two things on the top and one thing on the bottom. So we're not going to be able to integrate yet, so keep your integral sign there. Let's break that into x squared over x to the half, plus, oh, not plus, sorry, minus, or subtract, 2 over x to the half. That's me converting root x into x to the half and breaking up this here, okay? And all of that with respect to x. Again, we're not quite allowed to uh, integrate just yet because we don't have it in simple power, so keep the integral. x squared divided by x to the half is x to the 2 take away half, which is x to the 3 over 2, or 1 and a half. And keep your subtract. 2 divided by x to the half is 2x to the negative half. Put your brackets round with respect to x. Now at last we are ready to integrate. It is in power form now. Not in power form, nearly in power form, in power form. So f of x is therefore equal to add 1 to the power, so it would be 5 over 2, and then divide by the 5 over 2, so 1 divided by 5 over 2. Keep the takeaway. Add 1 to the power and you get half, x to the half. Divide by half, so you have 2 divided by a half plus your constant of integration, c. Let's tidy this up. f of x is going to be equal to 1 divided by 5 over 2 is 2 fifths, x to the 5 over 2. 2 divided by a half is equal to 4, so that's subtract 4, x to the half, plus constant. Now we nearly, nearly are done. The only thing is we don't know the constant which we should be able to find. Continue on another page. Um, so there is our f of x with this constant, and I'm going to say I'm going to sub x y equals four five in to find c. So basically, we're going to substitute in x is four and y is five. So when I put x is four in. I would get f of 4 here, the y value, which is 5. So I'm going to say 5 is equal to 2 fifths, 4 to the power of 5 over 2, take away 4, brackets 4 to the power of a half, plus c. 5 is equal to, now 4 to the power of 5 over 2, let's think about that. That I'm going to keep the 2 fifths there for now, and I'm going to write this as 4 to the half, to the 5. Yeah? Take away 4. 4 to the half is square root 4, which is 2, plus c. Now let's see if we can do this bit. 5 is equal to keep the 2 fifths for now. 4 to the half is 2. 2 to the power of 5 is 32. Take away 8 plus c. And therefore, 5 is equal to, now 32 times 2 fifths, uh, that's 32 over 1 times 2 fifths, which is equal to 64 over 5. Take away 8 plus C. Um, again, we've got to make these at both over 5 in order to work them out. So that's 5 is equal to 64 over 5. Take away times uh, top and bottom by 5, 40 over 5 plus C. So 5 is equal to 64 over 5, take away 40 over 5 is 24 over 5 plus C. And therefore C must equal 5, take away 24 over 5. So C must equal to 25 over 5, take away 24 over 5. C must be equal to 1 over 5. Okay, and then we could state our final equation here. We should state this. 
with the c we have found. So f of x is equal to 2 fifths x to the 5 over 2. Take away 4x to the half plus a fifth. And there we go, we have found the answer. Hope that made sense. Thanks for watching.